guys, welcome back to my channel right here. And as you can see from the title, we've done this uh, face right here, which I think really looks amazing even though my eyes doesn't look like they match because of that freaking wispy. But yeah, um, this is kind of uh, the 1968 Claire from Outlander. Like I did the eyes the same as I look all those pictures. But yeah, it kind of looks more glamorous than that. But you can do this a lot of ways. I just think this looks so classy and amazing and I really love the 60s eyes because they really pop that um, crease right there but yeah if you want to see how I did this look right here then just keep on watching okay so uh, start with uh, putting your contact lens on and yeah we're gonna start with primer this is the la girl uh pro and prop smoothing primer we're gonna use this to smooth out our face because we all know that claire has the most uh, beautiful smooth skin that is i'm so jealous about um every time he uh, she hits the light i mean that girl has gorgeous uh, poreless um, skin so yeah put that in pat on your face and it's done and now we're gonna go uh, with the pro matte HD foundation that doesn't want to focus <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm just gonna use two pumps of that and you would need to um, actually go a few steps lighter on your regular foundation because we all know uh, that Claire is the white lady and she has really pearl uh, white skin that we would need to uh, mimic in this one but blend that in and uh, make sure you include your neck as well which I didn't show in here but yeah and that's all blended out Okay, so now that our foundation is all blended up, uh, let's get our trusted concealer, of course, and um, make an armor <laughs> of our face. Um, just draw streaks like a warrior as usual, including your eyelids for a bit of a primer. Um, yeah, and everywhere apparently, um, including your forehead for a bit of light. And of course, get your beauty blender and blend that all out because we need to look fair as usual. And yeah, blend that really slowly. now and that looks blended really good and we're gonna set that now using of course my trusted fit me loose powder uh, we're gonna bake under our eyes just to ensure that the concealer doesn't crease on us or anything so let that bake under your eyes just to ensure that it's no creasing Now get a large powder brush and of course set your entire face, not a lot, just to set that. We're gonna go into the brows and of course we're gonna use our uh, trusted as well ColourPop Precision Brow Color. And we're gonna do our brows uh, different than usual for this one. Just searching for my brush right there, there you go. So we're gonna dip into this and we're gonna mimic a much higher arch uh, brow because that's what uh, Claire brows used to look and we're gonna do it much thinner so yeah like that looks natural but not really so yeah. Okay so now getting a um, Colourpop pressed powder bronzer we need to bronze up our face. A little bit, uh, no need to be super fair, but 
I just want to have a kind of uh, definition to my cheekbones and I'm focusing on that too much and my camera is going crazy but yeah there you go just blend that a bit more okay done so we need to bake under that bronzer just to have a more sharp line uh, you don't need to do that but it pays so uh, I'm gonna go now to the zodiac palette and getting into the Taurus and putting that on my crease just to kind of uh, lay down some color for our inner crease uh, color to go smoothly but as you can see I'm just blending that out and blend it a bit more and there you go now getting a more precise brush I'm going into a uh, Virgo just dipping in there I'm gonna realize that this brush is not the way to go for this but just locate your crease and have a line at it um, there is a lot of advantage in doing your eyes like this um, especially for me since I don't have that much of a lid and this give me uh, that lid space that I need but yeah and it looks bomb. <laughs> um, I changed my brush there and <laughs> with a more fluffier brush I did that. And again, going back into uh, the Taurus shade just to... I want to have that line but I don't want it to be super sharp. So I'm blending that out. And again, going back for it to be more precise. Uh, so just do that and it's done now let's do the other eye now both eyes are done so what we're gonna do now is get this faux lashes in bluebell and i have a hard time uh putting that on but yeah i kick off the bake and yeah go back again to those first shades that I did and did my lower lash line and again my camera is going crazy now getting into the Virgo shade and have that precise closer close closer to your lower lash line <laughs> um, but yeah it's always over it's going crazy and all over the place that gives you a much sexier smoldering look and now going into the cancer there uh, just highlighting my brow bone of course just to be precise and of course I'm also gonna use this to highlight my inner corners because we need that inner corner highlight just to pop look at that the difference between that and the other eye is massive but yeah beautiful so I'm gonna go now with my mascara which is by Catrice and do the lower lash line because we need to make our eyes look bigger than usual so do that Whoa, that's pretty. Now, I'm gonna go now to the Master Blush Palette in Maybelline, getting that peach shade in there. And of course, just blush up your cheeks ever so slightly, just to bring back some color onto those cheeks. Getting the OG Flex Citarian Highlighter using uh, my trusty old fingers. I'm not a fan of using this with a brush, uh, but... Yeah, just highlight our face right there. Get the nose, of course, to have a much taller looking nose. And of course, the Cupid's bow. And that looks bomb. Now getting the colorish in Mont Blanc, which is a peach uh, color. Just do it on your lips. And wow, the lips really did do the job there and 
have some major awkward posing shots and yeah, I think we're done. So Webby's, that is all. Um, I think I did a pretty good job uh, considering um, I have a lot of struggles, especially my eyes. I can notice from the viewfinder that I think it does not, um, does not match, which is that is because of the way speed that I am. It's new from Sephora and I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna use it again because the band is so, it's not malleable that I can't even use it like this inner corner just keeps popping up like that even though it has blue so I'm just, I'm, I'm keeping it together for the sake of the look but I think it looks really damn nice. It looks so elegant and you can use this look for prom, for wedding, for going back to 1745, uh, looking for Jamie. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you really like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, you can click that subscribe button down below. Be part of the beauty squad, the squad that is always all over the place. And of course, if you're subscribed already, thank you so much for loving and supporting this video. So you can ring the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I have a new upload. And that is it for me this evening. I'm gonna go now and I hope you will create this video at least. And I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye, guys.